It is rainy season. Queens and drones fly and mate in air. After mating, queens come onto the ground, rub the wings, and fall in search to find a place to make a cross with her. Then you will catch her and put her in a test tube setup. In the test tube setup, she lays eggs and grow them into the workers. After a long period of time, the workers increase in numbers like 20 to 50. Then you will move them into the first form aquarium. In this video, I am going to move my ants into the new form aquarium. Watch the video till the end to see an update on a new colony that I showed you in the previous video. I am going to move my ants into our new product, an aqua. I just attach the test tube to the outwall with a small segment of vinyl tubing, which will come with the outwall. Now I am going to move my ants into it, but before moving, I am going to apply baby powder around the lips of the container, but you can even use PDFE or olive oil. And now it's time to move our ants into a new form aquarium. I am moving them into the new form aquarium because the old form aquarium became dirty and mold started growing in it. I make more videos about moving my ants into new form aquariums because I personally don't like to keep my ants in a single setup for a long time. Now let's see the outwall. The outwall is made up of a substance in which ants cannot dig and it had two entrances. I block one of its entrance with plaster and I attach the test tube at the other side. Now it's time to move our ants in, presenting you our black carpet trends. They are growing a lot bigger. I am moving the ants in by cutting the box because the box didn't contain any holes. This is how the nest looked like outside the box. These are the two queens and they presently have 30 plus workers. Workers started searching for a place to hide. So I cover the test tube so that it is dark inside. The ants even started moving into the nest. They are transferring the brood into the test tube. But the queens and the brood is still in the outwall. After some time, I came back to see the progress. So now let's see into the test tube. The ants moved some of the brood into the test tube. These are some shots of the ants transferring the brood. Let's leave them alone so that they can move in peacefully. It is the next day. It is time to check on our ants. They took lot of time to move in, so they must use more energy. So I am giving them a baby roach and a sweet. They enjoyed eating the baby roach and a small piece of sweet. These ants are Campanotis pensilovinthus. These are nocturnal ants, that means they hunt for food at night. So it is difficult for me to record them while they are eating or doing any other activities. But no problem, I will try to record their activities at night. As I said, Campanotis pensilovincus are nocturnal. They hunt for food at night. But my ants are even coming out of the nest at the day. But mostly I see them at night coming out for foraging for food. So it's time to see them inside the nest. There is lots of brood inside. It covers most of the place of the test tube. And the colony presently have two queens and 30 workers. After many days, I am able to see my colony clearly. As before nest is not that clear. So this is my colony of black carpenter ant. Just a correction. I took this video a week earlier, so there is less brood and workers. But now they have more workers and brood, and the test tube is not sufficient for them. As even mold started growing in it, we should move them into a new place. So now we are going to move them into their new space. Now I am giving them a tubs and tube setup. I took a box and drilled three holes for further expansion. And then I connected one of its entrance with vinyl tube. And I even closed the other sides with plaster. Now it's time to add some sand and test tubes. First, I added some sand into the box. 
and then I kept two new test tube setups in it and I even applied olive oil around the edges of the box so that if I want to see them I can open the box and I can see them and there will be no escapees. So it's time to move the ants in. First I disconnect the test tube from the outwood and block the entrance of the test tube with cotton. Now it's time to connect these two boxes. As both vinyl tubings are of same size, I am going to attach a small tube to connect those two boxes. It is time to move them. I just put the test tube into the box along with other test tubes. So that they will move into the other test tubes when they need it. Now we are moving to our black crazy ants. I caught this colony from the wild as black crazy ants didn't have any nuptial flights. These queens and males of the same colony mates together as the queens can lay eggs which are not genetically connected to each other. When I caught this colony I didn't catch any queens but I caught the queens eggs and the male eggs so that there can be inbreeding and now I have many queens in my colony. My black crazy ant colony is growing rapidly. Now there are many workers, more brood and many queens. Now I am going to show you the clips of the ants moving into the new nest and I am how I am created a product called as the ground nest. This nest contains two chambers, one hydration chamber and one entrance. I just placed the nest in the box and added some stones at the ending so that it works as a drainage layer and, and I put some sand in it. And I even put a water test tube so that they can drink from it. And I even applied baby powder around the box so that they can't climb out. Now it's time to move the ants in. I caught them in a small box by using insect aspirator. If you don't know what is insect aspirator, watch Ants Australia videos. He will make videos about it. Now it's time to move the ants in. I just opened the cap of the box and kept it inside the outwood. So watch the clips the ants moving in the ground nest. Presently, their nest is dirty, so I am going to move them into the new nest in next week's episode. Now, I am going to introduce you my new Nylandria and call me. If you like this video, click on the like button and subscribe our channel. Sorry for not uploading the videos for a long time. It has been 3 weeks since I uploaded my last video. It is because my half yearly exams are approaching and I should study for it. So, it is difficult for me to upload videos every week, but, but I will try to upload videos every week. And I even have more content to make videos, as I even caught a fire ant queen recently and it laid eggs. So this video is completed, so let's meet in another video.